Hi guys, welcome once again. This is Kelly from Bond Machines and today I'll be reviewing the Cola WZ Automatic German Sewing Machine. Okay, so um, pretty quick, I want to thank all my subscribers and also those that watch my videos, those that buy these machines from me. Thank you so much, guys. I really, really appreciate the patronage. All right, so quickly, I'll be reviewing this machine and subsequent videos, I will also um, do some practical um um, troubleshooting of sewing machines okay I think I'll just have to start doing that in my um, subsequent videos but quickly I'll be reviewing this machine all right it's a German machine a very strong one at that okay it's a Cola WZ all right um, it has a double tread stand okay which you can use in case you want to use your twin needle it's actually adjustable you can bring that up and take that down all right it has the um, electric motor at the back which I'll be using for the um, tutorial or the review okay right here you have your needle position it actually um, centers the needle so in case you're using um, the left and the right it actually um, turns the window the needle to left and right all right in case you want to sew the button hole right here also I wish you can see that um, okay it has a lever for um, the zigzag and the straight stitch okay it has the numbers five to zero or zero to five zero mean when you're sewing the regular straight stitch but if you turn this lever beyond this point here you're actually sewing the zigzag all right so zero here is a regular straight stitch this tends to hold the um the lever in place so in case you're doing um the regular straight stitch and you want it to be permanent there you just use this as a lever to hold it down in place okay right here you have your tension you have the stitch length regulator, which um, the reverse is on the down bat, but when you're sewing for a wider stitch, it's actually up. So it has the numbers 6420, okay? So if you're going, you're increasing the stitch length. But once you're going down, you're using the stitch length, all right? Right here, you have your um, feed dog regulator. It actually brings down the feed dogs or take it um, up and all that, all right? It uses all type of needles from HADB to DP and also uses the regular bobbin and shuttle mechanism. All right, it also has this, um, it's a front um, treading mechanism machine, so you tread from front to back. All right, so quickly I'll show you how to wind bobbin. Of course, it's the bobbin winder. I'll show you how to wind the bobbin and how to operate the machine, all right? Okay, guys, in winding the bobbin, it uses the regular bobbin and shuttle mechanism, this type, all right? See that? So I'll just quickly show you how to wind the bobbin. From the tread stand, you can use any one, okay? Probably let me use this. And you pass it through this point here, and it goes all the way down to this uh, mechanism here. It has a spring mechanism here that actually stretches the tread when you are um, winding the bobbin. So you just wind that, um, some couple of horns here, and you put that on the bobbin winder, I think. Hold on. Let me just use another tread for the bobbin. Here's this one. Just do some couple of wounds and place that in there and make sure you place properly. Then you push that in, and when you sew through, see that? So when you've gotten the number of ones you want, you just push this in and take out the bobbin, okay? Neatly wound. All right, I'll bring this down. Okay, see that? Neatly wound. All right. So I'll quickly show you how to tread the machine from the tread stand. You just pass it. Let me just take out the tread. All right, from the tread stand, you quickly pass that through this point here. There's a uh, two part um, hole here. You just pass it through the first one and pass it through this in case you're using twin needle. That's why it's double here. Then you pass it through the tension. Make sure you raise the, um, the footer in case you're passing it through the tension. And it goes all the way up to the tread take up. You just pass that also to the tread, tread take up. Then from there, it goes through the side. Oh boy. It's kind of loose. One minute. Okay, through that, on this part here, it was a little bit um, difficult. So I just had to quickly slide out through. Then to this point here, then you tread from front to back. Okay, like I said, from this point here, it goes all the way to this um, two um, holes here. Then you can use any of the parts here. Then it goes inside the tension, goes all the way up to the tread take up to the side, to this point here, that you tread from front to back. So I'm quickly gonna tread the needle and sew with the machine. 
Okay guys, I already threaded the needle. Now for the regular straight stitch, this um, has to be on zero, like I said earlier on. Okay, so this is on zero, and I'm using the higher stitch length, which is number six on the um, stitch length regulator. And when I sew through now, all right, see that? That's the back of the stitch, and that's the front. Okay, so I can actually sew through again. So all I just need to do is to reduce the stitch length a bit and sew a much more closer stitch. See that guys, that's the front of the stitch and that is the back, which you can see that, all right? So now to actually sew the zigzag, because the machine does a straight stitch and the zigzag, like I said earlier in the review, um, you just turn this lever. I'm using the five, which is the maximum zigzag, and I will maintain number two on my stitch length regulator there. So when I sew through now, see that? That's the zigzag. That's the front stitch, and of course, that's the back stitch, all right? So you can actually make the zigzag much closer, or you just need to do reduce it further, further. And when you sew through now, hold on, let me take this. Okay, so that's for the zigzag. You can see that and much more closer. You can actually make it much closer depending on what you want to achieve with your zigzag. And also, in case you want to use your buttonhole, you just have to reduce that a bit. But in case you want to say much more reduced zigzag, let's say um, put it at number three. Okay, I use that to hold that in place on three. And when I sew through. There you have it. All right, so that's a much more reduced um, um, length or the width of the zigzag. Okay, I'm using number three. Now, if you want to go back to regular straight stitch, like I said earlier on, all you just have to do is to turn this. Oh, a minute. I'm stuck here. Turn that all the way to this point here. So when you sew through now, all you just have to is a regular straight stitch. I increase the stitch length. Take it back. Reverse. Reverse. All right. So there you have it, guys. That's the Kola WZ automatic sewing machine. Semi-industrial, very strong sewing machine. Thank you so much, guys, for watching, and God bless you.